is there one person and one product that are head above heels the, the worst that the pharmaceutical industry fostered? The, it has to be, and that's because we're in the middle of it, or not in the middle of it, maybe we're near the end of it, but it's the, the opioid, opioid painkillers. That's not to say that there is a legitimate medical use for opioid painkillers. There is, that's clear. When I castigate it as such a terrible drug, I'm not saying it never has a use, but it's so overprescribed. The companies who are doing it, and it's not just Purdue, it's Johnson & Johnson, Teva, others who have all been sued. We're, we're pushing them for instances and conditions for which it had never received FDA approval from back pain to osteoarthritis, to making veterans feel better, to the elderly. So it's that overprescription, over dispensing, the misbranding of the drug, of a drug that is both addictive and that can be lethal. That has to be, I think, in terms of the prescription drug epidemic, it's the most lethal epidemic ever for prescription drug, and therefore I, I give it the number one ranking as the worst. Although there are some other competitors, including the original contraceptive pill approved in 1960, Enovid, uh, was a fantastic, a revolution in terms of being given women the right to control their own uh, biology and reproductive rights and decide whether they were going to have children or when they were going to have children. But at the same time, for nearly a decade, uh, Enovid, uh, they, they hid the serial, hid the information about women who were developing endometrial cancer because the hormone levels were far too high. And it took a Senate hearing finding in the mid-1970s for that to come out. So even on good drugs that have a real social benefit and benefit a lot of people, sometimes the side effects are bad because the company's been greedy and hasn't given full information to the public.